Hey y'all, it's your girl Suzette with Crafting with Susie coming to you today with a new unboxing from Treasure Studios Art. I just received these in the mail on the 3rd of January. I'm super excited. But before I get into all of that, if you're new to my channel and you like what you see, please hit the like button. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you get notified of when I do my next upload here on YouTube. And if you've been back to see me several times, thank you so much for your support. I love reading your words of encouragement. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Alrighty guys, so um, I'm super excited. I ordered these two paintings um, in November, well, November 13th, 2022. And like I said, I just got them on January 3rd. Um, I am really excited about these. This is uh, something that I probably wouldn't ever order. So it's a little bit different. Well, I guess it is, but it's not. But anywho, and now they have pour glue. So that's what these um, two kits are. They're both pour glue. And they are Wild Fay Queen and Wild Fay Princess, and they're by, um, the artist is Christina McAllister. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open both of them up now. Uh, they just came in the plastic white wrapping. Uh, I feel like the boxes were still in pretty good shape. Um, nothing, you know, to complain about as far as that is concerned. So this is the box. And then it has your instructions here on the back. It has all their social media, website information, all of that there. Oh, it says Australia. I didn't know that. So the first one I'm going to open is, yeah, Wild Fay Queen. I'm so excited. So I opened these, but I didn't, I just took them out the wrapper. I didn't do anything else. So here's the little drawstring bag. Oh, this is new. The little way they keep their wax. Um, so basically this is the little baggie it comes in, um, has your tray. It has two pink scrunchies. I love the scrunchies. It does have the wide multi-placer, but I'm not a multi-placer fanatic. Um, and then these are just plastic, uh, tweezers. So they're not metal, they're plastic. And then you have this little ooh -ooh, container. Oh, remember the perfume, this is me telling my age, but remember when the perfume would come in a container like this and it was almost like wax and you put your finger in it and then you put it on your neck. I know you all remember that. Don't do that. I'm gonna tell you right now, if you're 35 to 40, okay, let's say 40, you remember that. It came in just like this and it was hard. It was perfume and you had to put your finger in there. Never mind. Anyway, so there's wax in here. There's three of them. And they do have the plastic coating on them, so you want to take them off. That's cute. So you have that. And then we have our diamond painting here. All right, guys, let's see what we got. Oh, there she is. There's, there's the thumbnail. Can you see her? It looks like a nice size. Okay, so I'm gonna just take this out here. These are the drills. And it is a harder canvas. It's not the softer. Ooh, those eyes, honey. Those eyes. Hold on. Lord, please don't let me be all in the camera. It is, ooh, she looks good in the camera. She, look at those eyes. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to move my table back because that glare is bothering me. So 
So there she is. This one is the queen. And I'm going to show you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's the Maya. She, <laughs> she sees her about box. My videos are so unprofessional. Hold on. <laughs> okay, guys, sorry about that interruption. So I want to show you the schematic that the painting came with. And this is it here. There's 30 colors. Um, it is a round. It's a 50 by 60. And it does give you a little notation down here to make sure to check uh, that you have all the colors. I think this is a really nice size um, schematic. And I think she's absolutely beautiful. And the drills do come in a zip, uh, Ziploc bags. So I am gonna take them out. drills I felt like they looked um, pretty good I'll be able to see them more um, once I put them in the trays and kind of move them around but they actually look pretty good but round drills um usually are I don't see any like I was looking for trash that's probably gonna be the 310 you really want to pay attention to because that one is um, mass production. And I don't see those little baby drills. Um, I will say when I had to cut away, I was gone about 15 minutes. But as you can see, this is completely laid, completely flat. I didn't roll it backwards or anything. I just had to walk away from it for a moment because somebody just got home from school. Um, I do want to just show you on the canvas that this does not have the um, the pinholes or the, the rigid cuts like Diamond Art Club has and some other diamond paint, painting companies. I don't see that it's threading anywhere. There are two schematics, one in the top on the left and one here on the bottom right. And then the top on the left is the thumbnail. It also, gives you let's see the name of the painting the artist and the size and it looks like they use letters and symbols i'm going to take a look to see if any of them are close it doesn't look like it to me. They all pretty much seem to be completely different. But I think she's beautiful. I can't wait to do this one. And I also like um, the fact with it being around that you can really see with the images. I feel like you can almost see it better in the camera than right here in front of me. <clears throat> Uh, let's see here. It's sticky. It's sticky. 
So it's sticky. And the plastic coating on it is pretty thin. And with a uh, pour glue, even though you may have the ridges in the plastic, like here, they're not in the um, actual canvas. They're just in the plastic. You guys, tell me what you think. This is like so out of my realm. And um, I don't know if anyone is watching um, and you haven't ordered from Treasure Studios Art, but they do use licensed artwork. So now I'm gonna show you the next one. This is Queen, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you Princess. Okay, which is this one here. And I just wanna um, reiterate that Yes, it's a harder canvas. It's not one of those like soft velvety canvases uh, from Diamond Art Club. So to you know, teach is on whichever one you prefer. And this one is Princess. Okay. And it's gonna be the same kit. So you have the multi-placers. This one has three pins in it. Okay, the other one did two. Three pins, three scrunchies. I don't know how I missed that. The other one has three scrunchies too. The wax in the tray. Alrighty, and we'll take this one out, the plastic sleeve. So they're in the Ziploc bag. Um, I usually don't work out of bags. I usually work out of storage containers. Alrighty, so here's the schematic. Oh, look at this. This one is 35 colors. There she is. Ain't she pretty? And this one again is a 50 by 60 Wild Fate Princess by Christina McAllister. And of course, again, all their information. Yeah, these don't come with um, Aurora Borealis drills, but that's okay. okay. I can figure out how to place my own. Like I would place them here in her hair and these metal dressings in her hair. And then most likely in the flowers. Oh, she's pretty. Okay, okay. So let's go on to that one. And I will show you the drill. For that one also, I'm just gonna lay this one straight out. The pinks are pretty. Ooh. Ooh. This one has, I can feel the ripple in it. Let me turn it over. You can see it on this side. So the more you let it rest, which means like this one, she's pretty. Oh, it looks so different um, on the cam. Uh, I'm sorry, on the camera. But for this one, I would probably just either leave it out and let it rest, or I would hang it up on my little clothespins on my hangers in my closet, just to get those um, two ripples out. but she's pretty. And of course you have the same thing with the two schematics on either side of the diamond painting. I don't know if I pointed out the social media information down here at the bottom and website. Let's see here, she's gorgeous. I do wanna show you guys the drills for this one.
guys. So just really quickly, I wanted to show you again that Treasure Studios are, they do use um, the DMC code, just like uh, Diamond Art Club. So that's what's gonna be here in the middle. And then how much of each drill is gonna be on the far right. So I wanted to see about changing out some of the colors for a uh, for my ABs. <clears throat> and the ABs that I have, I have to admit, they are uh, diamond dots. So I would need to do the conversion because most of these are diamond dots. But I just wanna check something really quick. Okay, so this color is 743. I'm just gonna see where this will go. So 743 is Q. And I will say this, the symbols I'll show you up close, they um, do look clear to me. Um, if it's a dark background, the symbol is white. So you can see it if it's a lighter color, the symbol is black. And that's for, for me, that's for you to be able to see it clearer. So I do see Q, this little yellow, and the, the hair pieces here. Let me move her up. And those two side hair pieces, I do see Q there. And I also see it up here like in her crown. So I think if I can get a color close to this, like this one looks like it may be, no, that's too bright. This one, I'm not sure. Oh, that's it. <laughs> I literally, I literally cannot make this stuff up if I try. Anyway, that's the same number. Can you see it okay? Oh, have mercy. So I would use this one, 743. I would just use this one. This is the AB that would go in for that thing. Let me see if I, man, you still can't see it. It just reflects that. But yeah, see, I would use this one and it would go exactly where I wanted it to go. So that's good. Let me see, what is this one? Yeah, I have to check the conversion chart, but at least I know that. There's one, there's a little bit of white in this 3865. And I actually probably got this from um, the drills, the drills company. Um, what is it called? Is it Diamond Drills USA? That's probably exactly where I got these from. So this one, 3865. I would probably try to find the conversion uh, for this one. And 3865, it just looks like a half, a half moon or a dome. And that's also in her headpiece and the jewels that are in her in her hair. And I can tell you this, it is confetti. There is some color blocking, like especially at the very top and on the sides. But yes, it is um, quite a bit of confetti, especially all in here. But I'm here for it. I don't think it's too big. I think it's very much so doable. And I just think it's gorgeous. Okay, guys, let me know which one you like best. 
Let's see if I can turn this. Alrighty, if you like the princess, or if you like the queen, I ain't gonna lie, the queen looked like she been through some trials. Oh, but I love her. I love her. But let me know which one you guys like better. Thank you so much for sticking with me. If you guys did stay to the end, if you could please leave me a crown emoji, I would really appreciate it. Thank you all so much for supporting my channel. You all remember to stay beautiful and to stay blessed. Bye.